Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and I'm back with another WooCommerce tutorial. This tutorial is on selling your own ebooks using WooCommerce. So, um, in our previous tutorials, we did print on demand with a mug, we did drop shipping with a mug, and today we're going to be selling a PDF ebook from WooCommerce. So, if that sounds good, stick around. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to take any document that you've written and turn it into an ebook. You're going to learn how to make a really nice cover for the book and how to make that cover into a mock-up design that looks like a real book um, without ever having to print a book. So um, you'll get something that looks a lot like what we've made here and it's not going to take very long at all. So let's get started. So you'll need to go to canva.com. Canva.com is where we do the graphics. That's is a free service that makes really um, beautiful graphics and it's really quite user-friendly, I've found as well. So we're going to want to create a design once you've logged in and we're going to use a magazine cover for our ebook. You can also um, use one called book cover, but um, for this one, we're going to use a magazine cover. So um, after you click magazine covers, you'll get a choice of, of lots of magazines. I went ahead and chose this one called The Traveller. You just go ahead and click it and it actually has five different layouts for the magazine. So you could actually publish a really beautiful magazine using just these layouts. But let's just work on the cover. And so what we're going to need, um, we're just going to change the text and get a nice picture. So um, for this ebook demonstration, I'm going to be making an ebook that is about making a t-shirt business. So um, I just went over to pexels.com, search for t-shirt and... I like the look of this. It looks like you're selling t-shirts, which is sort of like the theme of the book for this demonstration. So just go ahead and download the image. I think for this, we can just use the large size. It should be fine. Um, there you go. It'll, it'll go ahead and download. So our next step, we go back to our um, magazine cover and we're going to go to our uploads. And I've already uploaded this image, but you can click upload there to upload your image. So there we go. Let's, um, let's drag that image onto the cover. Very, very easy. Um, all we have to do is change the text. So I'm going to call it the, um, the T-shirt startup. The T-shirt startup. And let's move this a little bit. It's better. Um, we can change that there. Let's call it by idea spot. And this little blurb, we can rename that as well. Let's call it, uh, start selling now. Easy beginners guide. There we go. And we can drag that up a little bit. Let's um, actually filter this image a bit to make it a bit darker. So click adjust and let's turn the brightness down a little bit. There we go. Make that text a little bit more readable. There we go. Nice. So that's all done. Um, there's our cover. All we have to do here is uh, go ahead and download that. We'll just want to download a JPEG. We don't need a massive file for this. So that'll download, just take a second. And this is quite nice. It actually gives you a mock-up right in here. So we could actually use this by taking a screenshot and then cropping it down um, into an image for our website. Or we could maybe just use the Windows snipping tool and um, take a little snapshot of the um, mock up there and we could go ahead and just save that for later if we wanted to I'll just call it capture mock up well that's one way of doing things anyway um, if you go ahead and um, google mock ups I'll show you how to make a really really nice one so I just googled for free ebook cover and these guys adazing.com had um, this site called cover mocks and if you go there you'll get this um, free ebook cover creator so this was actually okay um, if you go ahead and um, click I click this one and I ended up here all you have to do is put in your a few details and then we'll upload the um, the one we made in Canva and then click finish and that'll take a minute but 
it'll end up putting those Canva covers onto some real looking books and we'll get pretty cool looking um, pretty cool looking covers. So up the top here it's going to say download your free mock-up. Go ahead and click that. And there we go, we're going to have um, mock-ups free PNG. Really nice high quality mock-up there. Um, so that's a pretty cool little freebie. Okay, the only small issue with downloading that high res mock-up was that um, the file's a little big. It's two megabytes big. So let's go ahead and um, edit that. So at the moment, it's a PNG file. We can go ahead and turn that into a JPEG. You can use whichever method you want to turn it into a JPEG. I'm just going to save it in, um, in MS Paint as a JPEG. So do it however you like. But anyway, changing it into a JPEG made it down 352k, which is fine for what we want to do. So now let's have a look at our actual document for the ebook. So um, I'm just going to use Google Docs. You can use Microsoft Office or whatever you like to use for your documents. Um, Google Docs is free, so it's fine. And you can go to this template gallery once you've logged in. Um, template gallery is there. And you can have a look at these templates. But I really like this one called Brochure. It works quite well as an ebook. So you go ahead and click that. And it's a um, it's a pre-formatted document. You can just go ahead and paste your um, the text that you've written into this, and it, it is a quite uh, suitable layout for a, for a magazine. Uh, you may want to change the fonts or whatever you like, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that footer image and delete this stuff here. And let's go ahead and put our real cover in here. So image, and we're going to upload an image from the computer, and we're going to use that nice capture mock-up that we did. Here it is. It's the untitled. This is the one we made in Canva. That all looks good. Um, you can write whatever you want in your ebook, but for this demonstration, I'm going to show you the process. So all we have to do is print this as a PDF. So go down there to print. And you should have an option in your printers to print to PDF. This is Microsoft Print to PDF, which is the default option for us. And go ahead and call this uh, um, shirt ebook. There we go. So that's all good. Um, from here, all we have to do is add a new product into our store. So at this point, we've got everything we need. We've got our um, we've got our ebook is all done. Um, our ebook PDF. Um, and we've got our mock-up image for the cover to put on the shop. And so we're going to go ahead and go to our WooCommerce dashboard and let's make a new item. So all we have to do is go to our WooCommerce dashboard and you're going to look at products and then click add new. And so all we have to do is come up with a product name. I'm going to call this the um, T-shirt biz ebook. We go ahead and describe our ebook in the description there. And the product data is important. Here we want a virtual product and we want a downloadable product. And so we want a set of price. Let's just make it free just for testing, um, zero dollars. And here we go. We need to add our file. So let's add the ebook that we made. Um, let's go ahead and upload. And there we are, it's the shirt ebook. Here we go, that's uploaded, and we'll insert that. And we're going to call this the um, shirt ebook. The download limit, you can leave that as unlimited, or you could set a limit for how many times the user can download it. We could make that um, just maybe you know, 30 times, just in case um, you want to block people from sharing it too much. And download expiry, we can leave that as never expires or set a date for it to expire. Um, enter the number of days before a download link expires. So we could set that to maybe, you know, make it uh, a couple years. We could make it 800 days. Or we could just leave it unlimited. A short description as well is good. You can just put whatever you like for your short description. And the product image is important. That's where we went all that, all that trouble was to make that mock-up image. So where is that? That is right here, the JPEG file. Go ahead and upload that into your store. And that is our product image. 
So I think that basically is ready to publish. So let's hit publish. And with any luck, we've got a nice um, t-shirt ebook here in our store for zero dollars. Um, and that should show up under all products as well. So I'm going to sort that by the latest. There we go. That's the one we just made. And what happens if we add it to cart? I'll show you what happens. You can view the cart. It will cost zero dollars, so we can just go to checkout. Um, go ahead and fill in the details. I've already filled that out and hit place order. Um, at that point, you'd have to pay, but because it's zero dollars, we're ready to download. The user can download the um, shirt ebook like that, and the ebook will download. Um, they can also come back and um, log back into their account, and they can go to their downloads here, and they can always get their their shirt ebook anytime they like. So that is really all there is to it. Um, I showed you how to um, take a document that you've written and then turn that document into an ebook and make a really nice cover using a combination of free tools. We used Canva to do the graphics and we used that little mock-up generator under adazing.com to do the actual mock-up to make it look like a real book. And then we put that picture onto our store and it all looks really nice you can um, go ahead and start selling books straight away the beautiful thing is there's almost no overhead once you've made a PDF file all you have to do is host the file and serve it to your customers so you can actually make the book free and uh, it's a good way to collect customer details put up a nice email list even or it's a good way to actually just get customers involved you could make it a low price, $4.95, $3.95, that sort of coffee price. Um, get people involved with your business and uh, then you can try and upsell them to other things in the future. So I hope this has got um, a lot of ideas popping off in your head right now. Um, it's a great idea. You can add this to any blog or any existing business can sell ebooks as a as an extra little monetization method. So if this has been useful, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, because I love making these videos, helping you guys. Um, leave a comment below if there's anything you need to know or if you've tried it before and um, had success. So I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. See you next time.